Is your fraction equal to one third? No. no. Now look at the fractions you have left on your paper. None of the fractions you have left on your paper are equal. Third grade students in New York and Florida are playing mystery fraction. Each group of students has the identical sheets of paper in front of them. Is your numerator four? Each class selected a fraction prior to the Skype, and now the other class is asking yes or no questions to try and guess the other class's fraction. That was a good question because there's only two fractions on the board that have a numerator of four, so they help themselves out a lot with that one. Can you say that one more time? Yes, we will. Let's say it together as a class. In your fractions, more kids. excitement was um, probably something I love to see the most. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Duquette and this is my third grade class that has been collaborating with you on fraction word problems. We just came up with a fun name for our collaboration. We said you're our Florida fraction friends. Yay! Yeah, we use some alliteration there. We are so excited to meet you today and play our mystery fraction game. Well, a lot of how I found classes was through the internet and social networking um, on Twitter and or uh, Facebook. I'm in a lot of groups and um, communities and that's how I've actually found the connections. But most of the connections that we've made this year have been through Skype as well as um, Flipgrid using um, that tool. One of the connections I've made this year, we've also used um, a joint class in Seesaw, which is an online uh, portfolio, and I became a co-teacher in that teacher's uh, group, so we were able to communicate um, that way because of a time zone difference. Connections can also be made between two neighboring school districts. As part of the Kindness Rocks project, Students from East and West Aronicoit came together to paint rocks and then spread them throughout the community. Then, students used shared documents and digital resources to create a scavenger hunt made out of QR codes. Upperclassmen from both districts were invited to participate in the scavenger hunt. The final phase was creating a scavenger hunt on Goose Chase where any member of the Aronicoit community could sign in and participate in the scavenger hunt. The freshmen awarded the winner a certificate and gift certificates to local businesses. All right, so right now students are creating their three truths and one lie statements from their brainstorming sheets after watching two videos. Afterwards, students are going to comment on each other's to identify the false or the lie statement. For this activity, all of the students in all of the teachers' classes were writing their three truths and a lie on the same padlet. Now students are commenting on um, another student's three truths and one lie. They're trying to identify which one the lie is. When they're done, the student will let them know. They can comment back and let them know <laughs> which one is the lie. Well, it's more of like hands-on practice rather than a lecture, which is much better for people who work with their hands and rather than just listen. Classes are really loud. <laughs> 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 so three points are actually on the the same, it's just your variable. You, and the calculator your variable is always going to be yeah. so oh, okay. for our, for the structure Is that a you can your table on your own? Do you want to do So, so what is number So, zero. So, I made sure you do it on one. For this activity, students in a high school class and students in a middle school class worked on the same Padlet simultaneously. Each group of students had to write down three points that satisfied their equation and one point that did not satisfy their equation. 
Then they had to comment on someone's from another class and identify which point was the lie.